What is going on you guys? We're gonna have some Adidas form history and a look at these new Adidas skateboarding Diego Nahara Forum Mid 8480Vs. You guys can skip the history right here and go straight to the review or stick around. You never know, we all may learn something. For those of you that don't skate, Diego is a skateboarder from Los Angeles who's been on Adidas for a while and He's had a couple colorways released with his name attached, but he's been switching board companies the last few years, so it's nice to see some new attention, new footage, and this new release right here. Adidas Skateboarding says that not only is this the first forum made specifically for skateboarding, it may be the only iteration of this 80s classic for the skateboarding category. Only time will tell, but they do have the forum mids listed on their skateboarding section on their website. But I think they're specifically talking about these 84 retros. I don't really know. I know those regular forum mids weren't made specifically for skateboarding. They were just made as retros. But they're good for skateboarding too. The forum high was originally conceived in 1983 and released in 1984. It replaced the top 10 as Adidas's premier basketball shoe and the most expensive shoe produced up until that point, retailing for $99.99, beating the Nike Airship by a few dollars according to my research. Fun fact, there was one more athletic shoe that was more expensive on the market, but it was a running shoe, a New Balance, that retailed at $130. The more you know. The legendary Adidas designer Jacques, this name, wait, this name? wanted to design a shoe that would work for the whole team's diverse physical characteristics and playing styles. The ankle was the weak point, so he wanted to integrate this asymmetric angled X-strap design for stabilization. It definitely gave the shoe its unique identity and Michael Jordan could even be seen wearing them at the 1984 Olympic Trials. One interesting piece of Adidas technology on the forum high you would have found originally on Adidas Running Classics, the New York and the Oregon is the Dellinger web created by Ronald Sturtz and Bill Dellinger, who was a former assistant to Nike co-founder Bill Bowerman, and who also became the head coach of the Oregon Ducks track team. What is the Dellinger web, you ask? It's a netting that absorbs 10% of shock and disperses it outward rather than upward, as well as offering a trampoline effect to improve stride. That's the concept anyhow, not sure of how effective it was in practice though. It definitely gives you those classic Adidas vibes and I've always liked that look. I've owned several pairs of shoes over the decades with the Dellinger web. Unfortunately, it's absent on these mids. So why did I talk about it? Shows respect to the people who made the shoe what it is. Now I wore several different Adidas models in the 80s to skate in, all basketball shoes, but I never did skate in the forum. How about that? I did see other people skating in it though, so it does have some history in skateboarding. Diego wanted to point to his hometown of LA with the colors and some of the design choices on this. You get some real leather on this upper, like this upper toe box piece. This X panel here. If this toe wrap is leather, then I'm Jerry West. I would have used the suede instead or real leather, but that's me. In the 1980s, Adidas would have never put synthetic leather on the toe wrap. Maybe their reasoning is because this shoe is meant to be skated and to keep the cost down, but there's a lot of synthetic panels on the shoe. How much money does the toe wrap cost? That's just my one little gripe. The non-removable ankle strap has some Adidas branding. The side panels are mesh for weight savings and breathability. There are some nice contrasting suede pieces for textural diversity like the eye stays and hair on the back collar. You also get a nice little extra design detail here on the medial with that off-white suede panel and orange stitching. I think it really adds to the uniqueness of the shoe without being garish or going overboard and overboard and overboard. That is much appreciated. The heel panel wrap is a matte, cloudy, translucent synthetic, as is the thicker molded plastic heel stabilizer. You can see they were thinking about saving weight with some of the material choices here. 
It's a traditional sewn ANSI minted cup sole with some of that midsole peeking through on the medial side in classic 1980s Adidas b-ball fashion. That's where the Dellinger web would have been on the originals on the highs, but it's not on these mids. I'm not sure what midsole foam they are using here, but it's a modern foam, not a 1980s replication. The icy blue translucent sole is another nice design choice, and you get Diego's name and some script to finish it off. The interior is comfortable and true to size. The collar is well padded and the nylon tongue is much appreciated. I like it way better than a synthetic leather, I'll tell you that much. You do get some reflective panels like this piece right here at the bottom of the laces. I think that's called the throat. And reflective behind the mesh. I think when I shine the light on it, it definitely looked like the behind the mesh section was reflective. So. If you like reflective shoes, you're good to go. You get a removable insole that I think is the same recycled material like the Tyshawn Low I just reviewed. Overall, to me, it feels good on foot. The toe down view is exactly what I remember Adidas shoes in the 1980s to be. A lot of memories here skating in shoes like this. This is my favorite form release since the 1980s because it's made for skateboarding. I'm biased that way. But I think it's also understated with enough details to make it special without going overboard and disrespecting the original. My only gripe is that toe wrap. If it was leather or suede, it would really do something special for the shoe and our relationship would blossom into something special. These were $110 on the Adidas Confirmed app, but that was a mess trying to buy these things. So I was like, forget that hassle. Let me do a quick Google search and I found them on where tactics for 95 plus tax. I don't know why the price difference, but it's what it was. I got a better deal. I hope you guys were able to grab some of these. If you like skating in this type of shoe or you're a Diego fan, here's looking forward to more collaborations between Adidas and Diego and some more footage, please. All right, later. Mm -hmm.